Time now, 7.49. People of all ages love playing video games, right? Kids oftentimes would play them for hours and hours and hours if we let them. But how do you know when it's too much? Gaming can become an addiction. So joining us this morning to talk about that is Adam Holman, who is a li licensed clinical social worker with MainQuest Psychotherapy um, and also somebody who personally has experience with this. So, Adam, thank you very much for coming. Um, this is really, you know, an important topic because a lot of us parents we really wrestle with the whole screen time thing we didn't grow up with this and we don't want to overreact but we need to know when something becomes too much so please tell me how it was with you personally yeah so uh, as you mentioned it does hit close to home I got into this work because I myself had become extremely addicted to video games to a point that I was playing actually upwards of 16 hours a day wow. at one point yeah um, it got to the point where I had almost dropped out of college. I almost didn't make it to the point that I was doing this work. Uh -huh. And I know, just as you were mentioning, I really watched my parents struggle in figuring out how to support me mm -hmm. as I was going through this. And it is so hard, you know? Video games are such a socially acceptable thing. Mm -hmm. They're enjoyable. They can be very healthy. But when it uh, kind of crosses that line, it can be really hard to know how to respond to people. Mm -hmm. So I've really spent the last seven years uh, learning how to support families and children as they learn to find balance with video game use. So fundamentally, is it um, kind of a, a, the mindset going into living more in this game world or enjoying that and enjoying nothing else, finding no stimulation or joy elsewhere, and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because the time is all here? Or uh, How does it evolve or, or, or fall apart into that? That's a pretty good understanding. It's really um, a mix of a lot of different things, and that's one way someone can really end up pretty addicted to video games, is it can become their only source of joy or entertainment. And then you're right, the more time that you spend in the game, the more the other areas of your life can kind of deteriorate, mm -hmm. which then really encourages spending time in the game world right. as opposed to outside of it. Um, for me personally, one of the biggest drivers was I just felt very anxious, uh -huh. and when I played video games, I didn't think about anything. You could tune all that out. Mm -hmm. You got it. A lot of people will say, okay, you know, but now we're we're connecting with other people in a game. I'm gaming with somebody else I know, or I've, I've got these friends all over the place. Um, we know that a lot of studies reveal that this di digital connection, whether it be social media or whatever you're choosing, it, it is not meant to replace actual human connection. It's, it, it can be pretty detrimental. That's absolutely true. That is another one of the reasons people do end up choosing video games or uh, getting more involved in them is it becomes a sole source of connection. Yeah. And while those connections actually can be enjoyable and they can be pretty good, uh, you're right, when it becomes the only thing, yeah. you end up reliant, and it's just not the same as this face-to-face -face right. connection. Yeah. Well, I am so appreciative that you're doing the work that you're doing, because I imagine it's really helpful when you step in uh, to a family and say, listen, I know this from the other side, and let me guide you through it. How do people get a hold of either you or other resources that can be helpful in this situation as we wrap up? Of course. Um, so. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of resources out there when it comes to video game addiction, and for that reason, I've set out to create some myself. Okay. So, um, my practice is called MainQuest Psychotherapy. Mm -hmm. You can reach that at MainQuestPsychotherapy.com. Okay. Um, I have some free resources for parents. There's a tab that says Video Game Addiction, oh, great. and those resources are accessible there. Okay. As well as, um, I do have a course that I offer to parents who would like to learn more about video game addiction and how to support. We them will games. link that on Easy Families. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you. Appreciate it. Be right back.